Hello, hello, Pioneer Elementary. I have a couple of more stories for you. It's, we've made it almost the end of the year. Uh, the Little Red Fort by Brenda Mayer and pictures by Sonia Sanchez. Ruby's mind was always full of ideas. One day she found some old boards. Some old boards. Who wants to help me build something? She asked her brothers. Oscar Lee pretended not to hear her. Rodrigo gave her a look that could melt popsicles. Jose almost fell off the fence. You don't know how to build anything, they said. Ruby shrugged. Then I'll learn. And she did. Who wants to help me draw the plans? Ruby asked. The boys clutched their sides and howled with laughter. Not me, said Oscar. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll draw them myself. And she did. Look at that girl go. Satisfied with her plans, Ruby asked, Who wants to help me gather the supplies? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll gather them myself. And she did. Look at her getting all of her tools. When the supplies were all gathered, Ru Ruby asked, Who wants to help me cut the boards? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll cut them myself. And she did. Oh, look, she's all safe. She's got her safety goggles, her tape measure, and adults with her helping her. Nice job. When all the boards were neatly cut, Ruby sang, sang, Who wants to help me hammer the, in the nails? Not me, said Rodrigo. I mean, not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll hammer them myself. And she did. Oh, look, Grandma. She even helped, enlisted Grandma's help, it looked like. Soon, Ruby's creation was complete. Who wants to play in my fort, she called. Me, me, said Oscar Lee. Let's go, said Rodrigo. I'll play, said Jose. I'm not busy anymore. Oh, hmm. Not so fast, Ruby said. You didn't help me draw the plans or gather the supplies or cut the boards or hammer the nails. You said I didn't know how to build. And you laughed at me. I'm going to play in the fort by myself. And she did. We didn't want to play anyway, the boy said. But they did. So they huddled and they whispered and got straight to work. Oscar Lee made a mailbox. Rodrigo plant, planted flowers. And Jose painted the fort fire engine red. Ruby was delighted. Oh, so they figure out a way to help her. A way to problem solve, boys. That evening, the boys followed a delicious aroma to a fort warming party. Who wants to help me clean this plate? Ruby asked. We do, 
said the boys. And they did. Cookie galore. Build a fort of your own. How many of you love to build forts? I love to build forts, even to this day. The Little Red Fort. Home Sweet Home by Carolyn Pitcher and illustrated by Jenny Author. Home Sweet Home. Uh-oh. That glue is not very holding very good. Woohoo! Leap de dee frog. Leap de dee frog. Under the hedge was a big green bucket with holes in the sides and water on the bottom. In the bucket lived a frog. One sunny day, frog was keeping nice and cool and damp in his sandy bucket. Suddenly, the bucket moved. Frog saw a hand holding it in the middle and a big voice boom. This old thing will have to go. And so will I, croaked the frog ribbit. And off he hopped to find a new home. It was a bad day to look for a new home. The sun was shining and the frog felt hot. And he leaped into the rainwater barrel, but it was empty. Ow! He hopped towards a flower pot, but someone already lived there. No frogs allowed, squeaked the mouse, squeak, squeak. You're too damp, squeak, squeak. Frog hopped under a pile of leaves, but someone already lived there, too. No croakers in my house, grumbled Turtle. You'll keep me awake. Frog saw a cool, damp hole under a tree and looked in. A little face with bright eyes, a pink nose, and long whiskers popped up. No room in here, said Rabbit, wiggling her nose. There are ten of us already. Oh, goodness, that hole is full. Frog hopped over to the drain pipe. Someone with eight legs climbed down to look at him. You can't come in here, said Spider. You'll make a mess of my lovely web. Frog hopped away gloomy, gloomily. Nobody seemed to want him. Oh, poor frog. Perhaps I'll find a home here, he said, as he jumped up a step hop through the, a doorway and into a kitchen. Plop! He doved into soapy water, but he did not like the bubbles. Splash! He hopped into the water jug, but he did not like the ice cubes. Brr! Frog gazed into the washing machine. His eyes popped as he watched the water whiz around and around and around. I don't want to be that clean, said Frog Ribbit. He hopped upstairs into the bathroom. Ooh, lots of places in here, he croaked to Ribbit. He leaped into the sink, but there was no water in it. Man. The frog heard running water. The fro then frog heard running water. He looked around and saw water pouring into an enormous bathtub. In he hopped. Ouch! Too hot for me, Ribbit, he croaked. Frog hopped downstairs and out the front of the house. The sun was even hotter. Poor frog's skin felt dry. He scrambled down the hot path toward the, sh the shed. He'd never been so far before. Oh, for a cool new home, he cried. He hopped into the shed for some shade, and there in the corner was the beautiful bucket with some water in the bottom. It's just like my old one. Home, sweet home, ribbit. And he jumped in with relief. The water felt lovely and cool on his skin. Oh. Frog was so tired from all his hopping and searching that he fell fast asleep. But he soon woke up when the bucket began to shake. 
No, not again. I don't want to go anymore, he croaked. Ribbit, I've only just moved in. Frog slurped from the side to side as the bucket swung through the air. Then it stopped and he scrambled up the edge and peeped over. What very big boots, Ribbit, he croaked. Frog and the water hurled out of the bucket. It must be a dream. I'm a flying frog, Ribbit, as he cro as he croaked. <laughs> he croaked as he flew through the air. Down, down, down. Splash, glurp, Ribbit, into some lovely, cool water. Frog swam to a large lily pad, pulled himself up, and sat there, gazing around in wonder. I can't believe my luck, he said. This is the most beautiful home I have ever seen. The end. Home sweet home.